Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron, New Life of Albany, Georgia. Here today with a history of classical scholarship, James Edwin Sandys. Classic, monumental work, three volumes. If you ever want to know about classical scholarship, uh, this is kind of the go-to resource. What a brilliant, brilliant man. I believe he was born in 1844 in Leicester over in the United Kingdom and uh, was a teacher for many years. Uh, comes in three volumes. If you go on ABE, Abe Books, a lot of times you can buy each individual volume very inexpensively. If you try to buy the set, sometimes it can be pricey. Like, uh, And I've seen them up 60 bucks a volume, uh, pricey. But, uh, and he goes all throughout the continent, basically, like in Belgium, uh, this would be uh, Roche, who I am totally unacquainted with, uh, Bosjensen in Weisenberg in Denmark, uh, Sparnwinfelt in Benzilius in Sweden, uh, Urengabes in Greece, 17-1800s England, Long, W. Smith, and uh, Monroe. Fascinating. I just enjoy sitting and reading these volumes. Um, this would be Italian, 15th century, Nicholas V, and oh, Vala, what a reformer, a pre-reformer Vala was. Of course, Desiderius Erasmus of Rotterdam, considered to be the last man who knew everything there was to know. Gave us so much. Died surrounded by Anabaptists. Don't read. Don't believe everything you read about him being a good Catholic. He was not. But uh, the kings and queens of, of Europe would offer him money just to say he was from there. Some people say the the Pope actually offered him money to uh, uh, to become a cardinal and eventually become the Pope. He also gave us the Erasmus first, second, third, fourth, and fifth edition of uh, the Greek New Testament and came out about the same time as Cardinal Zimini's Complutensian Polyglot. But uh, fantastic, fantastic things. He also wrote great books uh, like the Intridian and uh, about the Militant Christian in Praise of Folly. What a great book. Uh, where he says, the happiest person is not the richest person, but the happiest person that he knew was someone who began, as we would call it, to speak in tongues. And the glow that came on her face was priceless to him. Getting back to this, though, uh, French, uh, Germany, Ruchlin, oh, he was very famous as well, Corvinus in Hungary, Mabillion. You can see the breadth of scholarship. 12th century England, Morselli, Marini. We may go into some more in later videos about all of this. Sir William Jones in the 14th century in England. Let's see what's in this particular book. Uh, Greek literary criticism of the 1st century of the uh, empire. Something like this is almost worth the book in itself. The uh, consp excuse me. A conspectus of Greek literature from 1 to 300 A.D. And uh, gives the major authors and their works. So things such as this, the Byzantine Age, Aristotle in Syria and Arabia. The philosopher, they would call Aristotle, is the door of Seville. I'm not sure if it goes into any of uh, the Arabian Scholars, obviously, China had a tremendous literary tradition at this time. Uh, in the Americas, amazing things were happening as well. But for what it is, this is very possibly the standard work on the subject of a history of classical subject uh, of scholarship. So I would recommend it if just to get a breadth of knowledge, even if it's just great stuff to have. So God bless you. Have a great day.